Hey everyone, I'm Todd C. Slater, The Simple Investor, and I thought I would bring you up to date on what's happening in the world of condominiums. And one of the things that we need to talk about, actually two today I'd like to talk about, is some new rules and regulations that some condominium property managers are trying to enforce on people during the COVID time. And of course, we're going to talk about condominium fees and what's going to happen. So uh, first and foremost, let me talk about something that was in the news this week, and it's about a family that actually is getting billed for having an extra person live with them. Their daughter came to live with, uh, with the mother and father in a condominium in Mississauga, and all of a sudden they now have a bill for almost $1,500 for extra charges and basically the, the property management company has determined that if people are going to stay so you have a, a long time visitor then you should be paying more because you're using more of the utilities more importantly water and so this is uh, this is actually going to lead into my next point but let's talk about this current situation first of all um, in most cases it is unlawful in the province of Ontario to be able to do something like this and unless the actual board of directors for the condominium have all agreed and they were able to get a majority of, of the condominium members to vote on this and agree that this should be part of the legislation in that particular condominium, you can't just arbitrarily come out of the blue and start charging people extra. So the property management company could get levied a fine, they could turn around and have to eat the costs that they were imposing on the, the current uh, participant in this, meaning the people that are living there. And one of the things that when they broke down the bill and they were trying to, I guess, justify why the costs are what they are, you know, they were mentioning that just for the letter to be drafted from the lawyer, it was over $500. And well, that's some pretty expensive writing. So quite frankly, I think these guys are off base on this and I do hope that the condominium owner does fight it. And the only problem is, is that you gotta be very careful because sometimes condominiums uh, corporations will lien a property and so that means it's on title and if you decide to sell it in the future you're gonna have to pay out this unless you have it removed so there could be some litigation that's gonna get involved in this but again during these times I think it's uh, first of all it's unlawful you can't do it and uh, you know one of the things that we've been able to do here at the simple investor is that we do have our full property management company we are a uh, registered uh, condominium management company and myself of course I'm on the board of 18 condominiums and I am the president of them and so you know we're very careful and cautious on what happens when we talk about condominiums now the next point that I wanted to bring up, of course, is condominium fees. And, you know, each year your condominium will have a budget. And, uh, you know, how much are we going to go through this year? Could it be for common expenses, elements, maintenance, and of course, water. And water is one of the big factors that, you know, condominiums, they do struggle to, to maintain because if the each individual unit does not have its own water meter, that means it's rolled into the condominium fee. And could we see upward pressure this year on condominium fees? I would definitely say yes. And one of the biggest reasons for it, of course, is the fact that people are now living in the condominium a lot longer. They're staying there, you know, throughout the day, which means water usage is gonna go up. If hydro is rolled into the condominium fee, hydro costs is gonna go up. You're gonna be dealing with more waste, which is gonna increase uh, the, the cost. So when we take a look at condominium fees, could we see some upward pressure uh, in the greater area of Ontario on condominiums? Yes, I believe so. Uh, for those of you that are investors of ours, don't worry, we're in good control and we're, we're not gonna have any increases in our maintenance fees. But right now, talking about what is happening in the real world, you know, again, all these, the, all this pressure, all this extra expense, how are they gonna recuperate it? Well, they could give you a special assessment in the near future, your condominium, if you live uh, currently in it, or for that matter, if you've got even a tenant living in it. So you could look at a special assessment or an increase in your actual fees. And this is one of the things that we know that condominiums, if mismanaged or do not have enough money in the reserve, that you could turn around and look at some of these extra expenses. So that's kind of my take with condominiums right now. And again, lots of rules people are trying to put into place. A lot of these property management companies though aren't following the rules and guidelines of the province. And so they're trying to impose that, you know, people aren't even allowed to have visitors which is unlawful as well. So again, keeping in mind, talking about condominiums, you, you do have a condominium board, you can talk to them if there are issues, and by all means, you, know, you can get things rectified, hopefully without too much expense to yourself. And so that's what I think is gonna happen in the condominiums. So do I expect 
over the next 18 months, we're going to see condominium fees go up a little bit more than they should. Yes, for sure. I think this is something that you as either an owner or an owner investor, you should budget for, be prepared because this number will go up. And basically just because the usage of these units is going to go up. So that's uh, that's some of the update that I want to give you right now uh, for condominiums. And uh, don't forget, uh, coming up this Sunday at noon, Simply Real Estate on News Talk 1010, and uh, I'll be talking more with what's going on about what's happening in the marketplace. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I'm Todd C. Slater, The Simple Investor. I'll talk to you soon.